Hello, collective, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. First of all, everybody, um, I wanted to tell you that I'm having a Christmas giveaway, okay? <laughs> um, I usually do this on Valentine's Day, but I wanted to do it on Christmas this year because I just really am in this really giving mood, and I wanted to show my appreciation to all of my peeps out here, okay? So I chose decks that I use regularly. These are my my decks here, but I got um, I ordered I ordered one extra for each, right? Um, and those these are the decks that I'll be giving away to you. They will be new and in their packages. I just wanted to order decks that you guys are familiar with, right? And I use these kind of these decks here a lot. So um, I have to say they're they're like my favorites. Okay, so if you to enter, um, subscribe to the channel, right, and then and uh, write down the name of the deck you want to win in the comments. Okay, we're gonna go through them here really quick. Um, the Pulp Tarot. This is a fabulous deck, guys. Um, fabulous, fabulous deck. It's very vintagey, and I love using this deck. Um, and we've got the Astro, Ma Astro Matrix, sorry, Astro Matrix Tarot. That's this, this deck here. Okay, I use this a lot too. Um, I, I uh, ordered the um, Mystic Martians, right? Mystic Martians deck. This is an Oracle deck, and it's fabulous. Um, I also ordered um, another... What is this? The Garbage Pail Kids. <laughs> really fun deck. Um, I get a lot of different messages out of this deck, you know. So, yeah, you might like this one, too. I ordered um, another of the After Tarot. Okay, so that one's on its way. And I ordered a Cat Tarot because last year when I did um, my giveaway on Valentine's Day, that was the most popular one, so I'm giving you guys another chance to win that one as well. So to enter into the drawing, right, there's going to be a random drawing held, and I'm going to announce the winners on um, December 24th during the day. Okay, um, to enter in, just subscribe to the channel, type in the comments section the deck you want to win. Okay, so the Pulp Tarot, Astro Matrix, um mystic martians oracle garbage pail kids which i love this card this deck is a riot i'm telling you i love this deck um the after tarot or the cat tarot okay just enter it into the comment section you'll be entered in for the drawing all right i'm going to clean this up and then we're going to get going on your uh love reading today hold on just a second Okay, I'm right back with you here. Um, all right, so you guys, I'm here to do a random collective reading. Uh, this reading is for the collective, so it may not resonate with all of you. Okay, just take what does resonate, collective, leave the rest. You know the drill. Don't try to force it. And thank you so much, everyone, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, the love. Um, thank you so much for all of your continued encouragement and support. I really do love you all so much for all of this. Thank you so much. All right, so Divine, what do you have for the collective today? Messages for the collective. Okay. <laughs> what is this? I f okay pushing that away yeah man high priestess energy and sabotage I feel like you know what um, I feel like you've really been through it this is your energy here and here too with the high priestess you've been put through it by somebody they know they've put you through it this connection has been sabotaged stomped on spit on tossed to a curb. I mean, just about everything has been done to this connection and to you, okay? I feel like you were treated like the other the other woman. I've seen a queen here, right? You could be uh, the other person, right? The Another man, that kind of thing. But you were put in a third-party situation here is really what I'm feeling. And you were sacrificed. And it was harsh. You went through a lot. Um... But now somebody is making a decision. 
they're pushing away the devil. I feel like they're getting a lot of opinions maybe where they are being shot at them, but they're in a toxic situation. Um, I feel with somebody else, they chose someone else over you. Sabotage's connection really did all they could to trash this connection. Um, and you, I feel, you were treated like something that was just, you know, they just kind of threw you to threw you in the trash, threw you to the wolves, maybe. You know, I feel like when they abandoned you, there was a lot of um, bad mouthing you behind the scenes, trying to ruin your reputation. People were gossiping about you. Anything that they could do to you, they did. And I, I, I'm, I feel like you're in high priestess energy. You were completely innocent in all of this. Um, very spiritual. You're, you've been absolutely quiet ever since this was done to you, collective. You haven't said a word. You didn't look for any retribution. You didn't um, look, seek any revenge. You didn't say anything. Okay. Um, you just kind of took it. And I feel like um, you're looking forward to new things now. You're, you're in Queen of Wands energy, having been through this, knowing your value. You know, the Queen, of, the Queen of Wands, she doesn't let anybody mess with her, okay? So you're in Queen of Wands energy now, and you're just done being toyed with. You're done wasting your time on people. You're done being betrayed, sacrificed, treated like trash, and I, I think this person now, they want you. This is somebody here, I feel it's a masculine energy who's making a decision. They're choosing a path. It may even requ uh, require travel. So this could be a long distance connection, something like that. But this person wants to send you communication. They want to take really fast action towards you. Um, they can't stop thinking about you, collective. Uh, this is being very nostalgic, you know, going over fond memories, realizing you did nothing wrong. You didn't do anything to deserve this. That's what this is. You didn't do anything to deserve the kind of treatment you got. Um, you know, if you notice, I, I feel like they're... This person came to you maybe hiding something. I feel like they were possibly already in this toxic situation at the time, and they lied to you. Um, I feel like you, you're very sexy, very fiery, feisty, active. Um, you've got this, uh, you know, the Queen of Wands has this very happy but really cool personality about her. You know what I mean? Um, you're positive here. You're a positive person, and when this person came to you, they were hiding something, and you kind of were looking at them like, really? You know what I mean? Like, you would have never hurt this person. I feel like you looked up to them. You trusted them. You, you're wearing mittens here. You would have never hurt them. Your hoodie is down. You were being honest with this person, but I feel like they had a lot to hide, and that was the fact that they were, I feel like, already in another commitment okay now in the central focus it's like they want to reach out to you they want to take some um really fast action towards you but you know you're you're keeping all your moves hidden you're a mystery to this person an enigma right um it's like they know you exist but they don't know what's going on around you you're an absolute mystery to this person and you're very connected to the divine. Um, you know, this person could even be getting some kind of tarot card readings on you, too. Um, we are in this full moon energy as well. So, you know, you may even be, like, heightened as far as your um, intuitive abilities right now. And you could maybe possibly feel this person wanting to come towards you. But I feel like they, they yeah, see, after sabotaging you, trashing this connection, uh, maybe even doing all that was done to, to ruin your reputation and try to bring you down. Now they don't want to let you go. Um, during this full moon, you're going to be feeling this energy, you know, and your person's energy is pretty intense here. They're going to be having one heck of a sleepless night tonight. Um, maybe even uh, nightmares, okay? Um, laying in bed, unable to rest, 
just thinking about how they damaged this connection, how they tried to bring you down. And it could, it may not have been just them. Uh, you know, it could have been other people in your community. Uh, I feel like there was a lot of gossip about you, um, bad mouthing you. And you know what? Nobody really realized that you were innocent. I feel like your person realized it, but maybe they didn't defend you at the time because I know they were keeping secrets. Um, they're seeing everything now from a, a new perspective here. And I feel like, here's the thing. I feel like, um, yeah, they're very immature. Um, they want to come in like this, right? Come in all, all gallant and choosing you and up on a high horse and being celebrated this is maybe how how you used to see them because you really did look up to this person okay you maybe saw them as like the best thing since sliced bread right but i feel like the way you view this person is over you now see them as very immature you see them as very very immature and that's one of the things that bothers this person the most is that your view on them has completely changed. And it's almost like, even if they were to come forward, you may not want them anymore. I feel like they, they want to have a new beginning with you here. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. I've got Scorpio here, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, you could be a, a Cancer, Pisces maybe, Gemini. Um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, you could be dealing with the Pisces or a Capricorn. Take it however it resonates with you, but I feel like you're reaching for a new beginning here. Um, this person, you know, I feel like they, they're they either already committed to something else in this toxic situation, um, or, you know, this could be somebody who... Um, is a boss, business owner, someone really good with their money, somebody who's usually grounded and stable. I, I kind of get the feeling like um, this may also be somebody who thought they were better than you at one point. But you're saying goodbye to that person. I feel like you're, you're done being toyed with. You're done being messed with. You're done being treated like um, a side piece you're you're you gave you were absolutely innocent in this and you would have given this person the best love you could and they took that love and I feel like they just trampled all over it okay so now as you move forward having this new beginning and somebody somebody here could be moving away um, a location change kind of thing but I, I feel like as you move forward, you're about to get an emperor. And no one is going to beat the emperor. Like, this is, this is what you want, is somebody who's going to be able to make a decision. Someone who's going to be able to stand by you, protect you, defend you for a change. Stand up for you for a change. Someone who's going to see your value. Okay? And somebody who's not going to be hemming and hawing about what they want. This emperor, they're not going to play any games with you. And this is what you want in your life. I feel like as you step through this portal and start your new life, which is what you're doing here, you're going to bump right into this emperor. Okay? And they're going to stand by you. This is going to be your rock. I feel like this person in your past, they wanted to see you as maybe the King of Pentacles. This could be somebody very materialistic as well. Um, they wanted you to see them in this, like, I'm the best person ever kind of energy. Uh, but that's all over now. All, you, all, all they've shown you is this, somebody who's not going to be serious. Somebody who's going to dance around your questions, right? Not wanting to be honest. Somebody who's very impulsive and just does whatever they want. Yeah. You have a completely different opinion of this past person now. And now you're heading straight for an emperor. Someone who deserves you. And I feel like this person, they can't stop watching you here. I also get the sense that this could be you. 
Um, like, you could both be rather young. I feel like this could be you protecting your new beginning as well. Because you can feel this energy coming at you. It's very, like, staticky. It's powerful energy, right? Yeah, and yeah, you you don't want to have anything to do with this person because of the ways that they treated you in the past. They lied to you. They betrayed you. They had in and out energy, and I feel like you're just done. They were giving to somebody else too. This person may want me this past person may feel like um sneaking away to come and talk to you. No, it doesn't work that way. I feel like also you need equal give and take after sitting here for a long period of time re receiving nothing from people except a hard time. I feel like as this person from your past gave to someone else because, like I said, they didn't, uh, for some reason, maybe you were in a time of struggle um, when you guys met or they thought maybe you didn't have enough to bring to the table somehow. You, you have this patch on your blanket here. So they gave to someone else that they thought was in better shape than you. Uh, they, and they left you sitting here knowing it. They knew it. And you want somebody who's going to give you equal give and take. You don't want somebody who's going to be just um, coming in for a good time, not a long time. All right? You, you want somebody who's going to stand by you. And so I feel like you're kind of feeling protective here. That's the sense I'm getting with this Page of Swords. And I don't usually pick up on that with this card, but I am in this reading. Yeah, I feel like they've been watching you, studying you. Um, this is a learning card, like an apprenticeship kind of card. I feel like there's maybe studying your spirituality um, if this could have even been a twin flame soulmate connection and that's if it is they should be ashamed of themselves because they really treated you like garbage they really did yeah they're studying your spiritual spirituality there's more than just love in that cup um, this is the most ornate cup in the whole entire deck it kind of looks like the Ark of the Covenant okay that's because um, everything you believe in at a soul level is in this cup okay um, it's not just your feelings and emotions that you feel deep within it's your faith it's your intuition it's the messages you get from the divine you know it's the lessons you've learned on this journey and I feel like they're trying to study this now um, so they can maybe have a, a way to talk to you because I feel like you've changed like I said, you're a, a mystery, an enigma, but they definitely know how connected you are to the divine. They know how spiritual you are, and they know you're leaving the scene. And I feel like, I don't know, this person, they can't stop thinking about you. It's like they don't want to let you go, but still, I still feel this person wrapped up with the devil. They're still with someone else. And I feel like that's what you may tell them if they show up and come forward, I feel like you're going to tell this person, you know what, um, back away from my new beginning, my Ace of Pentacles, right? Back away. You are, you're, you're only here to play, and you're not going to be played with anymore. You're protecting yourself. And I feel like that's what you're being spiritually led to do right now. There, this person could also send someone else in to talk to you for them. I'm, I'm also getting the sense of that um, because they know you don't see them the same way. So they may send someone in that you may know. It could be someone younger, maybe even a kid, a possible teenager, something like that, um, that may be able to, you know, schmooze you or um, something, tell you something. And you don't even want that. You're like, everybody just... You know what? Back away. Yeah, you want your new beginning. You don't want to be messed with anymore. And I do feel like you're being spiritually led to do this. You are getting messages from the divine. I mean, you are tapped in and highly lit here intuitively. You, yeah, you're being led through a portal here for a new beginning with an emperor. And I feel like you're also, here's those messages above you right here. 
you're being told to protect this new beginning. That's what you're, you're being told to protect it, no matter who comes towards you to talk about this person from the past or get information out of you. You know what? Stand your ground. Don't give anyone any information. Continue to keep your moves hidden. This may even happen today, somebody approaching you here. Because your person from your past knows that they can't come in the same way. They could have gotten this, uh, this idea, okay, I'm going to send someone else in. Protect yourself, collective. Protect that energy. Protect your new beginning. Protect the thoughts in your mind, right? Keep your, continue to keep your moves hidden. There is someone here that doesn't want to let you go, but I feel like they need to remain outside your walls, okay? Out in the cold. Out in the cold. I, I do feel somebody coming towards you here to maybe speak for them. Um, so watch out for that because that could, that could get tricky, right? Um, yeah, somebody wants to get, either they want to get you to calmer waters. I feel like, yeah, that's a sign. Thank you. Thank you. It's going to get exposed. Um, look, the divine is giving you messages. I feel like this person, this is a getting you to calmer waters card, but this is a big warning to me. Like, pay attention, collective. Pay attention, Someone's coming in, they're going to try to make things, you know, it's going to seem like they're trying to, can we be friends or can we just um, get over this kind of thing. But they really just want control of the situation. This person has not left a toxic situation yet. And if you get in this boat with them, you're going to be covered up with a blanket with no voice. You're not going to be allowed to have an opinion. And you're going to be back in a mental mind trap. Look at where they have you face planted here and all of these sorts. Like a mind trap all over again while they have control of the situation. Yeah, be very careful. I feel like they may be sending someone else in to talk to you. This is somebody coming in fast. Stand in your boundaries. Block this person out. Yes, like a boss. Don't, you don't have to worry about pleasantries. You don't have to give them any excuses or apologies. Okay, when it comes down to protecting your new beginning and protecting yourself and all the effort you've put in and all of your healing and how far you've come, you, you know what, um, you, can, you can kind of be a beast about it in a strong way, right? Stand in those boundaries. It's, it's okay to give people just a no. How can you argue with no? You know, somebody comes to your door, and I feel like somebody's coming in fast. I really do. Um, could be a Cancer. Could be a Sagittarius. I feel like it's this person coming in for the benefit, for the benefit of this person who left you sitting here empty-handed while they entertained a toxic person. Okay, they treated you like trash. There's been a lot of talk about you. I feel like it's not just from this person from your past, but it's it's like a, a lot of people just ruining your reputation behind your back. And I feel like now you have a chance to move forward. You've healed. Yeah. Um, but uh, and you don't see this past person the same. That's why they're sending somebody else in. I feel I really feel like they're sending someone else in to talk to you. Protect yourself. You have a lot to stand up for and a lot to protect and do it like a king. You may you know the king of swords, right? No apologies. You know, um, and be smart about it, though. Watch what it is that you say, right? So don't say anything that's going to get you wrapped up in any kind of drama. All you have to do is say no. You don't need any excuses. You, they don't deserve an explanation. Um, and they don't deserve any apologies from you, right? King of, King or Queen of Wands energy. They don't deserve any apologies. So stand your ground. Do not let these people in and don't tell them a word about what your future plans are. That's it. 
Don't tell them where you're going, who you're with, what you're doing, nothing. Tell them nothing. Remain an enigma. But this could be all happening here, even for some of you tonight. This is, we're in full moon energy. The full moon is tonight. So, um, yeah, use your intuition. I feel like you are. There's going to be a time of the evening where you're going to be very silent and still, and you're going to realize how still and quiet it is. That silence could be a sign that this is about to happen. So, yeah, um, I feel like you're ready, though. You're ready for this. Yep, you're gonna t I feel like you're going to turn this person away. Anyway, Collective, um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. If you like this video, please hit that like button, right? Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you. Oh, and don't forget to sign up, you know, um, for the deck you want to win. I am going to announce the winners on December 24th during the day. That's Christmas Eve day, okay? So, um, yeah, get, uh, go ahead and enter to win. Anyway, until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.